is Kevin Rashid Johnson. I'm speaking in the interest of the upcoming prisoner strike set to begin August the 21st, set to carry on until September the 9th. By prisoners across the nation who are challenging and coming out in opposition to conditions of social injustice, abuse, extensive solitary confinements, deprivation of basic rights and necessities, and the general injustices and inhumanities of what today is the largest prison system in the world, the United States. We call on the general public to give as much support for this struggle and all of those who possibly can to engage and join in this struggle because slavery has not been abolished. And this is only a continuation of the struggle to abolish slavery in America. And we need all possible support and all possible involvement. All power to the people. Well, I was just recently returned back to Virginia from Florida. And that was in response to some of the, the challenges we were making down there to the uh, conditions and generally slave labor, the exploitation of the prisoners down there through price gouging in the commissary and the uh, packaging services. And they were trying to reinstate the uh, good time and parole that were taken in exchange for over sentencing credits or time credits. And that was something that was initiated under the Operation Push in January of this year where there was a work strike and a conversation. And based on some of the organizing that was going on and the conditions we were challenging there with respect to some of the abuses at the institutions I was at, which was Santa Rosa, where guards were systemically involved in manipulating business and violent messes with each other. And some of the abuses that were coming out of the institution that I was publicizing through articles, uh, they apparently contacted Virginia and told Virginia to come get me. They gave him an ultimatum. I think they contacted him on the 10th of June and told them to have me out of there by the 15th. So they ended up flying me back to Virginia on the 12th. And I was returned to Red Onion. Uh, following which they transferred me from Red Onion to Sussex One and have confined me now to a permanent solitary confinement that is without any real valid justification. It's pretty much in response to a lot of the exposure that I've been involved in to prison abuses and the inhumane conditions of the institution. So that's pretty much my situation right now. I'd really like to see as much support as possible being given to the you know, the series of struggles that are taking place, you know, across the country challenging the slave labor in the prison and abuses in the institution those you things. Know, that's really what I'd like to see much of the focus on is the what I would call resilience movement challenging both prison abuses and the ongoing conditions of slave labor in America. However much attention we can bring outside exposure to these prevailing conditions, I think that would build strong support and alliances which would not only bolster prison activism on the inside but would also bring to the public consciousness 